back with the iPhone 6. I am gonna... I have to stabilize this table. If you didn't watch the last video, I replaced the battery, which brought back the display. It wasn't until later that I realized there were still issues. I'm gonna showcase those right now. So here are the parts I got. A loudspeaker, earpiece speaker, and an LC headphone jack. As you can see, the phone display works. It turns on and I can move the screen, but I do have issue with sound. So let me go to some of my music, most recent song will do. And you can tell that nothing plays, no sound. It's not like the audio is muted. Uh, this isn't muted either. Okay, it vibrates. Oh, it <laughs> so this isn't something I noticed before, but you can see it thinks there are headphones plugged in. I also have problems with the microphone. So let's just do a little voice memo. This is a triumph. I'm making a note here, great success. Perfect. I'm gonna name this, don't copy strike me. Now, since the speakers don't work, I will connect it through Bluetooth. It's arguably an improvement. So now that I did a little showcase, I'll be turning off the phone. The phone is now off. And I'm going to actually start with the LC headphone jack. So it could be the speakers actually do work. It just doesn't play through them because it thinks that there's headphones attached. Uh, that doesn't explain the microphone issue, which is like, what, what microphone would it be using if it thinks there are headphones? These two other pieces could be unneeded. Let's get to it. Let's see if I can use my powerful memory. And I say that in the most sarcastic way possible because my memory actually sucks, but Oh wow, I think I'm uh, giving myself a little hint. Uh, this one wasn't all the way in, so I didn't really have to rely on my memory. Cool, this is actually the wrong size. Zero, 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 apparently. And I'm, I just realized it's the numbers on the bottom and not the top, which you could have noticed if you were just a tiny bit smarter than me. Bottom screws out. Trying to get through the boring stuff a little quicker. Phone is opened up. Um, I think I'm not terrified of it anymore. Personal progress. Okay. Is that supposed to be stuck to this? I mean, it's not really a problem, but okay. Let's get to the display so I can disconnect that. Let me get a guide. This might actually be <laughs> difficult. So I have to remove five screws. It's important not to mix these up because they're different sizes and the iFixit guide says you could cause irreparable damage. Let's actually just be aware of that and place them in the same arrangement that I found them onto the magnetic project map. This will come out. So this is slightly different from the iPhone 5 because it only had three things that it was attached to. This is sort of bothering me. Oh, it was just an adhesive. Next is to disconnect the lightning connector assembly cable. Here is an antenna cable connector. This is sort of stressful. Now remove the screws holding the speaker in place. Little closer up view. So I have to take a short little break. I know this lighting isn't ideal. I have a window right there. Did a mini self reflection. Uh, so I'm noticing I'm a little nervous. It was easier for that iFixit toolkit uh, video because at that point I didn't have any viewers. There was no need to be like self, um, self conscious. All right, but let's continue. Where are my other parts? Where did I put all the parts? So now we're getting to the lightning connector assembly. There's a lot to remove for this piece. This is this is the most I've done. And that is really bothering me. The sun is coming in at the worst angle right now. All right, so we're back. I don't have the glare in my eyes because that was actually bothering me a little bit. Um, I know this isn't ideal either to have the camera here. Should I, should I tell you what each part is called? Oh, so I'm removing the vibrator. <laughs> Fun. I'm gonna try not to make a joke about that. And I guess it already shows you I am immature by even saying I would make a joke about that. Oh, interesting. 
So this is a vibrator. Stop focusing on that. These screws are next, right there. Lightning port retaining bracket, which is this. And I guess retain is to keep in place. Is that a piece of hair? No, that's just the cable. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a microphone brace. You know, this is actually kind of fun. It's sort of like Legos in a way that you're like following steps and just doing that. Are you telling me this is all part of it? Attached with an adhesive. I don't know if it matters if I damage this because I think this is all part of the assembly, right? Okay, well I just tore all of that. Cool. Cool. Yeah, okay, so it doesn't matter that I tore this because that's actually part of it. So that's okay. I think that's the microphone part and that's the headphone jack here with a lightning connector over there. So now that that's out, I can put in the new one, which I think might actually be quite difficult considering I have to put all this stuff in. And I'm supposed to compare if there's any parts missing from this that I might need to transfer over. So this is the headphone gasket. And that will go back on this that is in. Also, microphone bracket. I believe it's this protruding thing over here. I don't know how it is removed. From the looks of this, it is adhesive. I could just rip it off maybe, carefully. I am tearing this off and I'm trying to keep the same orientation once I transfer it back. I can remove this adhesive here without tearing the very fragile cable. Apparently that's not sticky at all, which is disappointing. The last thing was the antenna interconnect clip. I'm just not gonna worry about it, but let me try to place it back. Should I remove the adhesive first? For now, no. This is gonna be difficult if it doesn't stick. It's uh, pretty much in at this point. I, this wasn't fitting properly at first, but then I noticed there was a little fold here. I don't actually remember how everything fit inside. All right, so here's a look at the magnetic project mat. This is all the stuff I have to put back in. So that's fun. It looks like everything's in place here. I don't remember if there were screws here. Is that a problem? <laughs> oh wait. To avoid making any like big mistakes, I'm just gonna use the iFixit guide as a reference. Oh, the antenna clip. It's this part, cause it's missing from here. But I'm gonna try the old speaker to see if it works. Oh, so these are in the wrong place. Good to know. I had a feeling it was supposed to go there. I just wasn't sure, but it should be fine. Apparently there was a screw right here that I also didn't do anything about. All right, I figured it out. The microphone brace. Yes, for correct orientation, I am glad I fix it has very good photos. So yeah, I reconnected this speaker. Let me reconnect the screen and then I can do further diagnostics. Let's test this out. Apple logo, good sign. Okay, this is a voice test. Looks like the microphone works, okay. Okay, this is a voice test. Looks like the microphone works, okay. Looks like this speaker works as well. <laughs> oh, God. I put this back, this metal thing. And I always do recommend to test out everything before you uh, completely reassemble. This screw is tiny. This is a tiny screw. Hey, let's see if I can close it completely. This is the moment of truth. Oh, that's always a good sign. Okay. Let me just put in the final two screws cause I, I have, I never doubted for a second that I could do this. And that totally explains why I was nervous the whole time. Let me try this again. This was a triumph. I'm making a note here. Great success. I'm pretty sure those are the words. I just looked them up today. This was a triumph. Well, as you can see, microphone compared to this one. 
I think it's still debatable which one's better. <laughs> Man, I gotta stop laughing at my own stuff. Any other issues I had? The earpiece speaker? I don't know. I didn't actually look into that, but maybe it's this. Um, so yeah, it works. This was water damaged. It is no longer water damaged. It has ascended. It is now uh, better than it was before. I mean, that's debatable, but it does have some newer parts. As far as I can tell, everything works. Wi-Fi and stuff works. Uh, I honestly appreciate anyone who watches my videos, and I mean that. But let me clean up. I'm actually cleaning up. This is crazy. Oh man, I feel like an adult. <laughs> That's a joke. Yeah, so thanks. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it was a little all over the place. That kind of generally d describes me as a person a bit. All over the place. Unreliable. Sorry to interject my uh, pity party. It's been about a week since I recorded. You can tell by the growth of my beard, uh, if you can call it that. This table is still sh bad. I realize I have problems with the headphone thing still. I kept on plugging in, unplugging the headphones, and most of the time it would work. There'd be some times where it'd be like, okay, there's no headphones. And then like two seconds later, it'd say, oh, there are headphones now. I looked this up. Apparently water damage and the reading headphones is a common problem. All the suggestions I saw was like, oh, there's probably water stuck in the headphone port or there's dirt or whatever. And I'm just like, but I replaced everything. So my running theory is I gotta clean the contacts with some isopropyl. So I'm not gonna show that because this video is already too long. It has been two days. I blew some air into it with um, not my own air, the, the, the can of air and clean that port. All right, so for now it doesn't think their headphones in. This is the real test. All right, see how the volume's there? After I plug it in, the volume's to change. Good. Change back. Okay, that works so far. Let's say if it goes five times and still works, I'll count it good. Resume pity party. Um, sometimes uh, putting things off for weeks or months and uh, generally, um, I don't know. Let's just end it. <laughs> Gosh, okay, bye. Yeah.